on a private yacht. Drop it. Long week to the side, cut low on the other We tie it up, we're just like one another She's got the figure, real lady And me and her can make some pretty babies Wind your waist round, 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 round Shake that booty down, 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 down Wind your waist round, 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 round Shake that booty down, 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 down What's up family? I'm Tommy and before we get into this video if I can just take a couple of minutes of you guys time to tell you guys about Sky Kids. Sky Kids is an amazing streaming platform on Sky TV that's got your kids covered this summer. Summer holidays are here guys so you know kids need entertaining 24-7 and sometimes grown-ups need a break. This is actually a guilt-free way of entertaining your kids, and I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you why me and Sharon love it so much. Is you can streamline it in particular age groups, so we can do the under fives, which would obviously be suitable for Mariah's age group, over fives, suitable for Aurora, and then there's also over eights for the older kids too. Amazing selections, shows like Very Small Creatures, which is good for the two plus age group, there's a brilliant world of Tom Gates, which is like the four to seven kind of age group. There's also the Silly Pets, which any age, you're gonna find it entertaining from babies to grown-ups. It's actually voiced by Alan Carr as well, so very entertaining. So if you're already a Sky Mobile customer, you can actually stream hours of entertainment from Sky Kids and also other Sky apps without using any of your data allowance. We would strongly recommend you take a minute to check out Sky Kids if you're already a Sky customer. And also, if you're not a Sky customer, it might be worth you guys checking out. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for watching. Let's get into this video. What's up, family? I'm Tommy. I'm Sharon. <laughs> I'm Aurora. And I'm Araya, aka. Kimmy. Kimmy. What's up family, you know the vibes already. We are in the big smoke, up the big smoke, I should say. London, you can see the London line in the background. So guys, we're just out and about, we're exploring. We're just gonna see where the day takes us. But what we are also gonna be doing is looking for some morphs. You'll see, you, that will all make sense to you in a minute. We're looking for morphs, all right guys? That will make sense as the, the, the vlog goes on. So hope you guys can watch the whole video right the way through to the end. Please like it, leave us a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Let's go, let's see what we get into. Stick with us for the ride. We did have a little bit of sun earlier. It seems to have gone away, it's hiding away, but it is quite warm, guys, so it's quite, it's quite, it's quite comfortable. It's quite a comfortable temperature. I could do a couple of degrees hotter, but I'm not gonna complain, guys, I'm not gonna complain. Don't you worry yourselves, I'm not gonna complain. In it, Aurora. She, mommy brung, brung, um, like jumpers for us. Like, like jumpers for me and Araya, and then she was, and then she had to go back, back to the, hotel room and, and, put, and put them back. Yo, you know, as African moms, you have to bring the whole duvet and everything in case it gets cold, you know? Yeah. Don't like feeling cold. True, true. You're, ju you're just about comfortable in shorts and t-shirts. A couple of degrees colder, you might want to be thinking about putting some trousers and hoodie on, but it's all right, it's just about bearable in shorts and t-shirt. So what do you think? Do you guys want to go on the London line? No. No. So here we are, guys, Big Ben. Big Ben's in the building. So guys, where are we going? Where are we going? Like that one. We're going on a private yacht. Exclusive party. You know. Drinks, champagne, yacht, lunch. Things like that. No guys, we're just going on an Uber boat. Oh, we're fishing chips on there. But they do actually have Uber boats here in London. So that's what we decided to do. It was quite pricey, but you know, it's an experience it's in it going experience. on a boat. Down the river to try and find these morphs, which we still haven't really explained to you, but are you scared, did you say? I'm scared. You went on this, you went on that one last time. Remember that day, that one?
Uber. Do you have tickets already? Or yes. Yeah, we've got tickets, yeah. yeah. It's going to be 12. Seven, 12. So, Aurora's been learning all about London at school, haven't you? The Great Five London? Not anymore. Yeah, but you know all about it now. So she's learning all about, obviously, the fire that happened in, in what year? 1666. 1666. And they had to go, basically, go on the Thames on boats they take it to escape the fire, so well, she knows all about it. Well, of course not those boats, of course. It, would, it, would it have definitely not, wasn't an Uber boat. It, it was an Uber boat, no. <laughs> it would have not, not looked like, 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 like this. It would have been much, much older. But the, the Great Fire of London started somewhere down this way, down the river. Towards where we're going, like near where we're going, actually. Say, what's up, guys? Say, cheers, mate. But anyway, guys, we are just in the little terminal boat terminal <laughs> waiting for our uber boat and yep. um, i just came in this little house cheers in this little bit to get kimmy out and walking around <laughs> yeah um but yeah you're just running around aren't you Araya? but the thing is we were sat in here Lariah was running around and then she bumped herself on one of the um, what's it called vending machines but she didn't cry but these two kids saw her and they started laughing at her and I didn't like that. Like, don't laugh at my kid. She didn't she didn't cry or anything, but you know when you see someone fall or hurt themselves and it's kind of funny. But when I see that happening, I'm just like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Guys, it's actually very, very hot in there. Water. Lots of water. Yeah. We're on a boat, guys. We're on a boat. All right, it's cool, isn't it? It's comfortable. So, guys, this is basically what we're doing. We're looking for these morphs, and it's an epic art adventure. So, this is like it's a trail, basically. It's a trail. So, if we go to our map. We gotta try and find all, or well, not all of them. There's no way we're finding all these, but we'll find as many of them as we can. And we are here on the Thames, so we gotta try and get off somewhere close to where they're all clustered. But they're, they're everywhere, guys. This is this would take like quite a few days to find them all. I think we'll find as many as we can today. Well, guys, we have just come off the boat. And we have spotted one, and I think Aurora's already spotted, spotted, she's already spotted a morph. Okay. Have you seen one? Da da da! Da da! What? You found the first morph, Aurora. Well done. Well done. As soon as we got off There's the that. We're going to be walking all through London today. I'm going to come back with calves like. I'm gonna, uh, do you know what? I'm going to come back with calves. Look, at the moment, I don't have any. <laughs> Non-existent. Yeah. The chicken calves. Guys, I get a lot of stick for my legs because obviously I'm quite, I'm quite built on my upper body. But for, you know, I train my legs, but they just don't grow. It's built like Johnny Bravo. I'm built like Johnny Bravo. If you know who Johnny Bravo is. Yeah. Big <laughs> upper body, like hair. tiny legs. I get a lot of stick for my legs. I don't know why. I don't know why they're so skinny. But first morph. Here he is. So this one's got a goatee going on, he's got a bit of a goatee. So all you have to do is you have to type in the code on the app. Five, six, seven, four. Where? Where did it say? Well done. You collected a new sculpture. You can view sculpture. There it is. So already, probably about another 250 yards guessing, we found another four of them. One, two, three, four. We've got to type this code in to say that we found it. So put, press collect. And then you just put that code in. Two, four, four eight, eight, zero. Got a very colourful one here, patchwork. Oh, sorry, eight, two, my bad. We've got a guy wearing a nice patchwork suit here. And he's got some red converse on. One, three. 
How many have we got? In, we've got five of 79. Where? So what's 79 minus five? Huh? What's 79 minus five? Seven, 79. 70, 75? No, 74. 74. So we've got another 74 to collect. That I've been most looking forward to. Crossing the river. So we're south of the river at the moment and then we've got to walk across this bridge. So we're going north of the river. And this bridge is pretty dope. What's that in front of us, Aurora? St. Paul's Cathedral. Which you know all about, of course. <laughs> when I wore this dress, yeah. And my husband was like, yeah. oh, I don't like it. Oh. When, when did I say that? Okay, you like, you like the colours, but you wished it was like more fitting. I've like had about three people compliment me on this dress already. Just saying. And you should have seen his face. It's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Dad, what are you saying? You've got an astronaut right in front of St. Paul's Cathedral. Oh. Collect. Ta-da! 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 Well done. Wait, don't, don't move it. Well done! Do you know what? This is my favourite one so far as well. This is cool. Yeah. That's, that's just what me and Aurora said. You're just, you're just copying us. No, no, I didn't. No, that's my thing. This is my favourite one so far. It's so art. It is yeah, I like the colours. Oh, you've, got, you've got some Lakers colours in there and you've got a little bit of Nipsey blue. Alright guys, you found another three now. See if you guys can see it in the background. And there's another one. See if you guys can spot it. Right in front of the cathedral. Here you go. So this is like the London one with all the London stuff painted all over it. <laughs> <laughs> so we just sat down for a little bit of lunch in this Dion place right outside St Paul's Cathedral which you can sort of see behind the trees. So we had a quite big breakfast so we're not particularly hungry but what we're getting guys, I bet they're going to want some fries again. These guys, these guys are proper fry heads. They love their fries. Yeah. Especially big ones and salty and yeah, and like cheesy. I don't like. The I like. Fries. I like salty and when they're yummy. And, yeah. I mean, fries are good, but it's, I'm not. Get the London look. Oh yeah, I've I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> the London look. <laughs> Have, are you having fun in finding these morphs? Yeah, I like scanning them. It's quite fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Literally, Aurora has been like trying to find them so she can scan them. It's like a little... I guess it's quite fun, isn't it? Like just seeing how many you get out of... How many? 79? Is it 79? 79 in total, yeah. 79 in total. That you can find them all around London. Yeah. So it's quite a nice activity yeah. for the kids. I think no if, you if you live in London, it's probably quite easy because you can spread it out throughout the days. But when you, if you're here for one day, there are some areas that are more concentrated than others. So if you have a look on the app as well, um, you can see there's a map that can show you where the, the morphs are. So we'll put everything in the description below. Um, and yeah, just have some fun. I wanna feel undercover. Maybe. The ones in the, in the so do you know the significance of this landmark here, babe? It's the Bow oh, Church. Right. Bowie 3, with the Monday No, it's frame. not. Yeah, no, it's not Bowie 3. This is Bowie C 4 This is... I don't know what it's the same name, obviously, Bow and Bow, but when, apparently, what if you can hear the bells, the Bow bells, yeah. come from here, that makes you a true cockney. If you're in if you're an East Londoner, a proper East Londoner, you have to be within listening distance of these bells. Okay. The closer you get, the more cockney you get. We're going to go out the apple and bears to see the Bow bell. I have no idea. So we found another morph. So, so I've got my boat race outside, the old apples and pears. I'm talking on my dog and bone. So, and another one. Another one. DJ Khaled voice. So another one, we're to the side of St Paul's Cathedral in this little uh, precinct thing. Pretty cool precinct. And we found one. This is a, what's this, the number 12 or all 13? Number 13. Number 13. Uh, yeah. 
So guys, we are back on the boat. We found, how many morphs have we found so far? 13. So we managed to find 13 out of 79. So there's literally tons more. Uh, we did do quite a lot of walking and there's a lot more to find. So we're getting the boat to London Bridge now. I'm not sure if there'll be any more of them there or not, but we're just... Where are we, darling? So we're sat on, um, well, I say on London Bridge. We're not on London Bridge, we're near London Bridge. Like we're just, this is a little kind of riverside chill yeah, bar. Do you know what? Riverside. For like being in the heart of London, this is actually really chill. It's like being on a vacay. Well, we are on staycay, I guess, but yeah. yeah. The drinks, they've got some like cool Spanish tunes on, and yeah, just chill vibes. We, I want to go see some of the landmarks. I want to go to see the Shard, but somebody wants to go back to the hotel and just be in the hotel and go Sweet. swimming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This would be nice at night, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm, I bet it's a vibe at night. Do you know what it'd be like? Mm. This is a rascal. Oh yeah. Rascal. Mm. This is a rascal. I wonder if they did film here. Rascal. Do you remember that video? I oh, know they want a boat actually. Yeah. Exactly. Boat. I hope they've got the right song music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, cool. All the UK people who remember Dizzy Rascal. So guys, we're probably not actively looking for the morphs anymore, but if we stumble across them, we're gonna tick them off the list. That's basically what we're doing now. To learn the rules like a pro, so you can break them like an artist. Okay, okay, okay. So that seems to be quite a popular message there. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! So we've seen another morph. What is this? Haze? Something? Yay! Is that your cheeks? Hello? It's alright. Say hi. Hi, is this the king? Can we come to um, for tea and scones today? A raw and a rye want to come. Say yes, please. If you are tuning in from another country, this is how we communicate one another here in England. Like we don't have mobile phones or anything. We don't have iPhones, um, smartphones. This is how we communicate. We just like to keep it traditional here in England. You know, guys. Obviously, I'm only playing. I don't actually remember these phone boxes being like a proper thing since I've been alive. But we did have phone booths like this, that kind of like with like a glass screen all around. But I do remember, like when I was a kid, like people actually used to use public phones when I was a kid. So if that makes me sound old. It makes me sound old. But yeah, these ones are the proper old school British ones, like more of a tourist attraction now obviously than anything, but yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool they still got them. Yeah. Alright, did you know, yeah, a little history lesson, people actually used to use these phones for real, for real. Before, I told you that before, like, before iPhones and all when, that. when I had my little boyfriends back in the day. Uh, what, what boyfriend? Yeah, I used to use this to call, or even like just what, call a red my one, friend. A red one? Yeah. Oh, uh, actually no, it wasn't the red one, sorry. That's it what I was saying, like, okay. I remember like, like in the 90s like there was phone boxes everywhere but they were like these sort of BT glass yes, things yes the BT ones where, yeah 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 not so, these no nah. but it was the same thing basically like a box with a phone in yeah but it wasn't that long ago we used to use these and it used to be 20p minimum amount yeah but now it's 60p minimum 60? yeah wow daddy where's daddy? daddy daddy Let's go that way. Come on. Let's go this way. 
Go, go. Let's go to the room. Let's go to the room, baby. This way. This way. Here, knock, knock. Say knock, knock here. Knock, knock. Okay, guys. We're back. So, actually, do you know what? They've got swimming nappies downstairs. I wasn't going to go downstairs to swim because I forgot Araya's swimming nappies. But they've got them, so... I'm gonna get her changed and then we're gonna go in the pool with them. I might not be able to bring the camera because it might get wet. But um, yeah, at least we're gonna go. But like, have you seen how confident she actually is? Like, she has got no fear, this child, whether we're out, whether we're at home, she's trying to do something. She even pressing the, bat the button and just going out by herself. She's so just ready she's just ready and just so smart and confident which is nice um but obviously as a parent you have to be super super vigilant with this kind of baby because they can just go and wander off on their own and not even be scared um so yeah i have to let you keep a tight rein on her keep an eye close eye on her as well but i like that she's very different to aurora very different you're looking at the trains, Bobby. What does the train say? What does the train say? Does it choo choo? Choo choo. All right, what's up, family? So we got home safe and sound from our London trip. Aurora, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, especially the pool. Of course you like the pool, but you did like hunting for the morphs as well, right? Yeah. It was and good. I, I like scanning them. You like yeah. scanning them. Should we get a grand total? Yeah. Let's get a grand total on the app. Get to see so we're just loading up our app. So we got... We found 17. 17 of 79. Only 17. And the thing is, we were walking around for hours. So obviously there's a lot more to discover if you're there in London, you live there with your kids, then you might get to go there on multiple days and get them all. But for us, just doing it in a day, it wasn't going to happen. But yeah, it was fun still, wasn't it? It was fun. Like they're all painted like cool and Aurora definitely like just collecting them and getting them on the app. So if you do, if you are in London, you've got kids and you are going to go to this morph trail, I highly recommend downloading the app because it just show you on the map where they are. This. It does show you on the app, obviously, where you can find them. So there's a little bit of a cheat code, and obviously you can collect them and see which ones. You can actually buy them as well. Believe it or not, you can actually bid to buy for these statues. They're going to be a lot of money. They're going to be a lot of money, but, you know, if it's what you want to spend your money on, then, hey, do your thing. So another massive thank you to Sky, Sky Kids in particular, for sponsoring this video. We've had an amazing weekend. We've had an amazing time. And we'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. Cheers, mate.